This video is about manual point cloud transformation using corn draw points. In this case, uh, the source point cloud is captured by Zebrevo handheld laser scanner using SLAM positioning algorithm. Uh, initially, point cloud is an undefined local coordinate system. Also, there are a few uh, control points for the object uh, in the target coordinate system. Uh, control points are defined on uh, some wall and uh, construction corners uh, on the floor level. So, uh, the main task is to measure its 3D positions in the point cloud and then make transformation. Uh, the initial data. Point cloud in LAZ format. Uh, the text file with the coordinates of control points and some draft uh, showing location of control points. So, I start Spatix and read the initial point cloud. Firstly, I will get rid of ceiling to see objects close to floor more clearly. For that, I just create a vertical section and classify top data into a separate class. I will use Clipper tool like this. and classify data inside fence, uh, let it be class building roof, for example. Now, I can turn off class building roof and see objects close to floor. To attach my draft, I use uh, Raster Reference Manager and fit the attached raster to the view 3. Then, I run fit using targets tools in Terrascan to start measuring. Uh, I select manually, manual entry method. Uh, I need to find uh, the location of uh, control points in the point cloud. The first point is here, this corner, and uh, to specify right 3D uh, position, I need to make a vertical section with the uh, accurate center line, like this. Then I click Add Source button and uh, enter data point on the floor level. It's here. Uh, you can see that a measurement uh, was added to the list and I continue to measure the uh, remaining points in the same way. Point number two, it is here, I create a vertical section, click at source and enter right position.
dot point and last point. So, all points are measured, and I read uh, their coordinates from the text file. Uh, generally, the order in which uh, points are measured does not matter. Uh, software automatically finds match between uh, coordinates and uh, measurements by minimum residuals. And the final step is just to apply transformation. I choose uh, translate and rotate plus rubber sheet option and click OK. Here is the transform point cloud, and uh, to check the result, uh, I will import control points uh, from text file as vector element into SPX file. I will use ground class, for example, and write my points in the ground class as vector elements. Let it be green. And now I can check uh, the result in 3D. Like this. So that's all. I hope it was useful for you.